Hello students, welcome to the video lecture series of Artificial Intelligence. Today we are going to start with the next chapter that is Game Playing. In this Game Playing chapter, we are going to study one procedure today. I am your instructor Bhumin Mandalia for this video lecture series of Artificial Intelligence. So let us start with the outline of today's session. The first topic we are going to cover up that is Minimax Search Procedure which is one of the Game Playing technique. Okay, in short, in this chapter, we are going to play one game which is somewhat like an intelligent game. Okay, and we are going to demonstrate this min-max search procedure using two examples. Okay, so this thing we are going to cover up in today's session. So let us start with the procedure that is min-max search procedure. In min-max search procedure, starting with the current position. Apply plausible move generator to, to generate the set of possible successor position. So this min-max search procedure will be stimulated like a tree. And using that tree, we are going to study this min-max search procedure starting with the current position and apply plausible move generator to generate the set of possible successor position. Now then apply the static evaluation function to those position and simply choose the best one. So from the available position, we will choose the best position so that we will be able to win the game. Okay. For example, if we are going to play a tic-tac-toe game and if we are a sharp player and let's say the opponent is somewhat like a dull player, he is not knowing that how to play this particular game that is tic-tac-toe well. So if we say that tic-tac-toe game is there, then apply the static evaluation function to those positions and simply choose the best one. Now that static evaluation function that is SEF returns the large values to indicate good situations for us. So our goal is to maximize the value of static evaluation. So let us understand how that static evaluation will work. For example, let's say we are having one, one player search. So for that one player search, that static evaluation function is going to return the value from minus 10 to 10. Okay. And plus 10 indicates the win for us and minus 10 indicates win for opponent. Let's say if we want to say that maximum player is going to win. So for maximum player at max, we are going to select the value plus 10. And for minimum, at least we are going to select the value minus 10. Okay, so these two will be the bounding values for our range. That means we are going to lie in the position of minus 10 to 10. Now, our goal is equal to maximize the value of heuristic function. So our heuristic function is for to select the best value. Best value that means the maximum value from available values. Okay, so for example, one player search is there. Okay, let's say here one node is there that is node A. Okay, so node A is there. After that from that node, we are having three nodes B, C and D. Okay, so B, C and D nodes are there and A, 3 and 2 values are lied with B, C and D nodes. So 8, 3 and minus 2. So listen, we are having the value we are having maximum player here. So can we say that from these available three values, this maximum player is going to choose the maximum value only. So here it is going to put value 8 on this node A. Okay. So if maximum player, let's say if maximum player wants to win a game. Okay. Let's say if maximum player wants to win a game. Okay. So his target is to maximize the value of his node. So his node is A. So if he maximizes the value, then my winning path will be what? My winning path will be A, B. Okay. This will be my winning path. So A, B can be termed as my winning path. See, now in game playing, let's say I am playing a tic-tac-toe game, which is a two-player game. Let's say I am going to say zero here. My opponent is going to say um, put cross here. I am going to mark 0 here. My opponent is going to place 
cross here because otherwise I may win. Okay. Now let's say for a while I am not a good player at tic-tac-toe. I am not playing tic-tac-toe well. So let's say just to being tempted that here I can have the value cross. Okay. I can win if I, opponent is not going to do zero here. So can we say that after that opponent will be having the turn and he will do cross here then easily he will be able to win this tic-tac-toe game. So if one player is dull then the other team or other player will win with a lot of margin. Okay. So that is why this tic-tac-toe game is used to demonstrate this min-max search procedure. See for example let's say this maximum player is not a perfect player. He is not good at playing this um, min max search procedure so let's say by mistake this maximum player is going to select the value minus 2 okay which is the one of the minimum values from the available values so minus 2 will be there for maximum so can we say that maximum has not played well he has not selected the value properly so that minimum may win with the lot of margin right so this will be the scenario of min max search procedure Getting my point or not? This is the scenario for minimax search procedure. Now, let's say we are having the example of two player search. So, in two player search, we are having the scenario like let's say one node is there which is the maximum node. Okay. After maximum, see it will be like chess, it will be like tic tac toe which is one of the two player game. So, in two player game, once we have completed one move, then my opponent is going to select the other move. So, this is one node, let's say A node. From this node A, let's say we are having three more nodes which are B, C and D. So B, C and D have lied on the minimum position. Okay, B, C and D have lied on minimum position. Now the values from B, we have elaborated the nodes E, F, G, H, I, J and K. Right. Now, how these nodes are connected with one another. So let us mark all the arrows for this connection between nodes. So let's say A is connected with B, C and D. Now B, C and D are connected successively with E, F, G, H, I and J, K. Right. And the values which are marked at the last node or we can say the leaf node that is 9 minus 6, 0. 0, minus 2 and minus 4, 3. Now which is the goal? See what we want to find. So the questions which are generally asked in the examination that is find the nodes, find the nodes which may lead to win for maximum player so what we are told to find that maximum player will win so that find that particular path so this can also be termed that find the winning path listen everyone find winning path for player a okay find winning path for player a now if i want to find winning path for player a so can we say that for my 9, minus 6 and 0, minimum is a player, let's say 9, minus 6 and 0, minimum is definitely going to select the minimum value so that he will be able to win. So for example, let's say minus 6 has been placed here, which is the minimum value from the available values. From 0 and minus 2, minus 2 will be placed here so that minimum player will be able to win. From minus 4 and minus 3, minus 4 will be placed here that is the minimum value from the available values. So from minus 6, minus 2 and 4, what maximum player is going to choose? From minus 4, minus 2 and minus 6, maximum player is going to minus 2 which is the one of the maximum value okay, from the available values. So can we say that minus 2 is available here. So my winning path will be from A to C and my winning path will be from i to j sorry c to i okay so this a to c and c to i so a c and i 
is my winning path for maximum player this is the winning path for maximum player getting my point or not okay so this is called as winning path for maximum player now let's say in this example for let us have one assumption okay that assumption is let's say a uh, minimum player is not up to the mark okay that means minimum player is not playing properly okay so minimum player is not up to the mark so in this ca case let's say the minimum player from this node b let's say b node is going to select let's say b node is going to select value 6 okay b node is going to select value 6 from here sorry not 6 value 9 okay value 9 is selected here so can we say that here we are going to put value 9 okay so let's say c for c and d it is correctly choosing for c and d it is correctly choosing the value that is minus 2 and 4 so minus 2 will be there and 4 will be there for c and d so from b c and d what will be the available maximum values for c d b c and d what is the available maximum value here it is the value 9 here it is the value minus 2 and here it is the value 4 so from 9 minus 2 and 4 our maximum value is 9 only so can we say that our maximum player has got the value 9 okay which is very much greater than the value minus 2 which it was getting previously so can we say that maximum player has won with a lot of margin because minimum player is not up to the mark minimum player is not playing properly so maximum player has won with a lot of margin getting my point or not so that is why in min max search procedure if one of the player is not up to the mark he is not playing properly then the other player will win with a lot of margin okay so this will be the scenario of min max search procedure but if we are asked in the examination that find the winning path for one particular player then we are going to assuming that both of the player are perfect both of the player are, are playing well at that at this min max search procedure game okay so that is why see for example let's say uh, one team of cricket is there let's say india okay india has scored about let's say 274 runs in one of the 50 50 game or we can say one day match so the opponent team is let's say australia okay now let's say australia team is not up to the mark for example and he is going to make a score of let's say just 75 runs and all out okay so can we say that for this particular game india has won with a lot of margin okay india has won with a big margin because australia did not play well so in this case we can say one player or we can say one team has won with a lot of margin just because the other team is not perfect okay so this is the scenario of min max search procedure thank you for paying your attention thank you students